We like this deal because we think that uh, there's an awful lot that Mike can bring to us. So at the end, we were able to satisfy what we wanted, and I think Oakland was satisfied what they wanted, and, and Riz got back prospects, which he was seeking. I'm Eric Heiss with the MLB.com FastCast. The Seattle Mariners acquired Michael Morse in a three-team deal on Wednesday. The trade sends Morse back to Seattle, where he began his career. The Washington Nationals land two prospects, including A.J. Cole, who they sent to Oakland in a package to acquire Gio Gonzalez. They also add a player to be named later. And the Athletics pick up John Jaso in the five-player deal. The words can't describe, you know, what's going through, what me and my uh, family are going through right now. Um, you know, this is where, this is where I, uh, you know, Seattle gave me my first shot. And, um, you know, this is where I became... I became a boy to become a man, so um, I'm, I'm glad to be back home. Cole is still kind of the same guy he was when he left the organization. A ton of upside, a ton of ceiling. Uh, hasn't quite made the full transition from thrower to pitcher. Still very young. He's 21. Uh, I think there's every chance that uh, he still can fulfill his potential as a, as a top-of-the-rotation kind of guy. And with pitching, you have to really be patient. John Beso was a guy that the A's have actually been looking at um, for quite some time. Really just like his potential. He's a guy that makes a lot of contact. He's good pitching. He walks a lot, um, which we know the A's like. Um, his, you know, great on-base percentage last year. And he's really also starting to drive the ball. He's got some power potential. According to reports, the Texas Rangers have inked Matt Harris into a five-year contract extension. The 27-year-old lefty led the Rangers with 18 wins in 2012 while posting a 3.29 ERA. The Baltimore Orioles' magical ride in 2012 earned their skipper Buck Showalter and executive vice president of baseball operations Dan Duquette contract extensions through the 2018 season on Wednesday. Under the guidance of Showalter and Duquette, the O's made a 24-game improvement this past season and won the American League wild card. MLB.com analyst Jim Duquette thinks it's a great move for Baltimore. I think that this is the right way to do it. I think that's how good organization to do it. I'm not surprised with Buck. I am a little surprised with, with uh, Dan, obviously, getting his extension. But I think it's amazing. One year later, the perception of the Baltimore Orioles, last year at this time, they had a hard time filling the position uh, for general manager. And now they're extending the GM through 2018. Really amazing. The New York Yankees agreed to terms on a one-year contract with Phil Hughes to avoid arbitration. Hughes went 16-13 and 13 with a 4.19 ERA for the Yankees in 2012. And the Blue Jays announced that Darren Oliver will be returning for his 20th season in the bigs. The 42-year-old lefty went 3-4 with a 2.06 ERA in 56 and two-thirds innings for the Blue Jays last season. For more on these stories and to see which MLB stars will be suiting up for the World Baseball Classic as the 16-team rosters will be unveiled on Thursday, stay locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.